Raiders the status on the Sean Murray game? He will. He's reinstated. He will play Saturday. As far as the team after the Washington game, uh, what were some of the takeaways that you had from learning experience that they have on the Well, first off, the experience, uh, like you said, was was kind of what we um, anticipated. A lot of learning moments with it. I think the biggest thing about it that probably was the most disappointing was having the lead at halftime, the lead we had, in a way we came out to start that second half. When you're on the road, and you've heard me say this a thousand times, winning and losing is a fine line in particular when you're playing good teams. And that first four minutes out of that locker room, whether you're ahead or whether you're behind, home team was behind. So that first four minutes was really important to them. The road team, which was us, we were, by, we were ahead. Well, it's in, important to us too. Uh, it's very obvious the first 45 seconds changed the whole flow of that game. We basically had two self-inflicted turnovers, and turnovers are part of the game, but those self-inflicted ones that led to baskets. That game went from nine points to four points in a hurry. And it's just not the points, it's the emotion that changes both sides. That's where you, they gained the most. They gained some points on that scoreboard, but we put some emotion back in that building. We gave their team some confidence, and we probably lost some at that point. Um, so learning experiences, uh, that's one for sure. Uh, it's very obvious we didn't have consistent point guard play um, throughout that game. We have to get better there. Uh, and we're kind of like you all watching the game. We're trying to figure out. You can't duplicate that zone. You don't know how guys can read what they can read. So it was a good learning experience from there. And I'll take positives. I always find positives. You know, limit to self-inflicted turnovers. Still, again, 10-minute mark. It's a tied game against a really good team. We had that one trip. It was a six-point swing in that one trip uh, when we got, uh, you know, intentional foul. They scored two free throws, got the ball and scored again. And, you know, that's a tough swing when you're on the road. So there's a lot of, a lot of things we can learn from it. Uh, we played against a really good zone. Uh, I thought our guys took a lick the first half, found a way going into halftime. What we go on, 17-0 run uh, on the road against a pretty good team. Uh, but you got to be able to play for 40 minutes. We didn't do that, so we've got to learn from it and get better the next time we see that kind of zone. What does adding Murray bring now that maybe you missed on Tuesday? Well, we'll make no, no excuses for not having him, that's for sure. I think the one obvious thing that you miss, you miss um, experience. You know, we started two freshmen, two sophomore, and a junior. Is that correct? Yes. They started four seniors, first guy off the bench is a senior. Five of their top six guys were seniors. So we missed um, experience, and there's no substitute for that. You know, uh, could he help us in the middle of that zone? You know, time will see. Uh, we think so, we think he's an experienced rebounder. But again, hey, we make no excuses. Guys that stepped up, although Merrick really played hard, you know, he's gonna make some mistakes, but uh, you can't fault his effort, and uh, he's definitely better than he was, for sure. What do you think of the performances of some of those younger guys playing their first college game? Like well, uh, I think anything that a freshman does wrong on the road against a really good team, just mark it up as an experience. I mean, you don't expect them to be, uh, you know, where we'd like them to be. You know, Delano has a harder role to play than Charles because he's got to be the, a guard. Uh, he's having to, you know, first off defend a really good guard and Chris, a little quick, little quick guy. Uh, 
So he made some mistakes, thought the game sped up for him. But again, those are learning experiences for him. Charles, I thought, and Charles is like this most days, he's pretty even keel. I didn't think his emotions were up and down. I thought his play was pretty consistent. The one thing we didn't do is get him the ball enough. I mean, you gotta get that ball inside that zone. And we missed him way too many times passing that ball in there. And that's an area we just wasn't good enough against that zone. You can't play around the perimeter of it, the perimeter of it all day and in the high post. You got to get that block some. And when we got it to him, for the most part, he was pretty good. But I had no faults with Charles, so he was pretty good. Yeah. Do you think it was kind of a good eye-opening experience from the guys like Josh and Delano playing this caliber competition because that really did the exhibition? Then you kind of see what happened again. Well, you know, um, it's it's good for everybody. Again, it's why we played the game. We could have opened up here at home, beat somebody 25 points. Um, everybody would feel really good about it and would have made us any better? Probably not. We got better from the other night. I can tell you that just mentally. Mentally understanding. There's no substitute for the experience you gain going on the road against a really good team. It wasn't like it's a bad team, a really good team, an experienced team. And their experience really showed in that second half. So I'll take the pauses from it. You know, it's a hell. Um, somewhere down the, down the road, you know, those things will help us. We didn't go into that game probably as smooth as we would like to have been. Um, you know, basically there was a, a lot of different lineups leading into that game. The week prior to that, we dealt with too many things. So all those are learning and teaching moments as long as you learn from them. And I feel good about learning from those things. Like I said, I like those situations. I like being in a, going against a tough team. Do I like the outcome? No. But I'm going to find the positives from it. Uh, like I said, it's easy to schedule the game at home and got a W against. Coach, uh, Jared Savage on 40 minutes. I believe he had 15 points. Can you talk a little bit about his performance? Well, Savage was, you know, he was just consistent. Uh, naturally, the second half, they zeroed in on him. They weren't going to let him get a shot off. They basically, basically chased him along that baseline and pushed out on him. Uh, but he was good. I mean, I had no problems with him. Uh, ability to communicate good on the road. Ability to stay together was good. All those things were positive. T Tavion kind of the same way. Two of my, I guess, most experienced guys, weren't they? Is that right to say? Yeah, they were. Everybody else was either married or two freshmen, weren't they? So my two most experienced guys, uh, they were they were pretty good. I had no zero problems with those guys. After uh, Tavion hit that deep three early in the game, and then you know, he, he was really looking, continuing to look that deep three, kind of pump fake out of a lot of them. How would you kind of like his decision making there uh, as the game went on? Well, it's very obvious at halftime they made an adjustment. They got those long old guards. They make you pump fake. You know, Jake wasn't able to get a shot off. You know, Tavion can at least shot fake and put it down and go get some. Um, you know, and again, that's adjustment they made. And that zone is wide, it's long, you know, those wing guys, you know, the big old wing guys, the defensive player of the year in the Pac-12, what's his name? Dabble. Dabble. I mean, he's that for a reason. He contested shots, he blocked shots, uh, he made it difficult on us. Uh, but that's what you got to do, and they press that on you, shot fake, and get in that gap some. Um, find different ways to score, but give them credit. They did a good job taking that part away from us. When they take that part away, you got to be able to throw that ball that block. And we didn't, we didn't do enough of that consistently. I think Charles missed his first two shots the second half, getting it in there to him. But that ball needed to go in there many more times. You, you guys targeted Charles Massey a lot. You, know, you were uh, attempting to get it to that block, you know, as you just talked about. Uh, is that something that you kind of expect uh, Deshaun Murray to kind of fill in that role uh, as that high post of the 2-3? Well, you know, uh, and we got to figure figure exactly the, what his strengths are against two three. We haven't seen it. You know, you can't duplicate it in practice. Um, watch him on film some. That's where he's been best at in the high post from the Auburn days. Uh, but he gives you experience. 
It gives you a guy too when the shot's taken. Someone has a chance to go get it with that strength. You know, I think he has a chance to really tack that big guy and get to the foul line some, which we didn't do near enough. If I'm correct, second half, we shoot five free throws. Who's got that stat? First half, it was. Who's got that stat? We shot five in the second half. Five second half. What was the first half? Yeah, 11 the first half, five the second half. There's a difference. And when you're going on the road, you got to get that free throw line. You get to the free throw line two ways, throwing that block, driving it in there. Um, need to find more balance with that. We had some mixed, mixed up lineups in there, a bunch. You know, foul trouble caused us early in that game to um, play different lineups than we played. You know, I think we got Delano and um, and Josh sitting over on the bench the first half of the year, two or three fouls each. So Tavion played point guard. You know, I think we got that lead. Tavion, Jake, Jarrett, Merrick, and Matt was in that game when we went on that 17-0 run. I think 12 of those points came with those guys in the game. So that was a different lineup we'd never even saw before. But that's sometimes you put in them situations, you got to adjust. That was something Jared actually mentioned, how some of those lineups you had to go with on Tuesday night weren't some that they were familiar with. Um, did you notice at certain times of the game where that may have disrupted flow? Oh, a whole lot. You know, sometimes against zones, you got some quick hitting sets, then you flow into your your motions against sets. We weren't very good at flowing, hit them, hitting, hitting them with some sets because we had some guys at different positions that hadn't done it. You know, I had Tavion at the three some. Jake at two, Tavion three, and Jarrett four when Delano and Josh was in there. Just hadn't done that. And it affected us some, no doubt. But it was all learning experiences. We'll get better from it. Have you seen anything on film on UT Martin? If so, if well, they're a team that wants to get up and down the court. They got a bunch of guys can score. They're going to fire it up there quick. They've got really good guard play. Uh, they've got a point guard who averaged about 14 points a game in Maine his first two years. Was American East, all rookie player. Uh, they had a kid transferred from Colorado State that was setting out. That's a good player. They got a bunch of guys can shoot it and play and, athletic, and just athletic. Uh, coaches does a good job with them. Uh, they'll run a lot of stuff, but they're going to fire up. They're going to fire up some shots now. Against UT Martin, are you guys going to try to keep using a lot of different lineups and kind of see what you all got, or are you going to try to get maybe into a little more rhythm and try to stay with a maybe a, a set five? Well, this will be the first game that we've had everybody able to go. You know why I knocked on that wood, don't you? Um, so we definitely have to, and you said always a key word there. There's two words you hear me say a lot. You said one of them. Uh, we have to get some rhythm and some chemistry playing together. And not just them, us as coaches figuring out, seeing some guys play. You know, it's, it's just a lot of newness to us. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to come back and say I'll take a lot of pauses from playing out at Washington. A lot of pauses I've seen 30 days from now. Uh, I think our team will be a totally different team. I think we can learn a lot from that. And, you know, and I think Washington's going to be one of those teams at the end of the year. They're going to be right there. That's the same Washington team. All five stars would beat Kansas last year. They beat Kansas on a neutral court. So they're going to win a lot of games. So there's some a lot of pauses we can take from what happened out there. Not being everybody, not having everybody, you know, having some broken lineups, you know, not performing very well that first four minutes out of the second half, and like I said, having poor guard play. You know, we're better than we're better than that guard play. You know, I believe that. You know, Josh Anderson's better than that. He was no factor, zero factor. And again, I'm not. I'm not going to jump ship on one game playing point guard by no means. I have confidence in him. Uh, he'll learn from it. He'll get better from it. 
Um, I think he always has. He already has gotten better from that experience mentally. He's gotten better. Anything else? I have another question. Danny, you got a question? Give me one question. Come on. How do you feel about Tom Arthur getting in front of the crowd? Why does she always ask? I remember she did this last time. She always asks really good, educated questions. Dominic, why does she, why does she always get the good questions and ask good ones? Somebody else asked it. That's, a good, that's my point. That's why hasn't somebody else asked that question? That's a great question. This is our home opener, correct? Um, you know, it, it's always good to be at home. Uh, it's always good to, you know, line back up and play against somebody else, especially when you, you know, got a little bad taste in your mouth. And we know UT Martin's going to be a, a good opponent for us. So it'll be a good learning experience from here. Then we get ready for that next one. We go play uh, three games in four days next week. So this is another good learning experience and opportunity for us. All right. Question? You got a question? I'll say fine. Huh? 